Joining us now, early show contributor Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. She's a child and adolescent psychologist. Good morning. Good to have you with us, as always. Thanks. Why? It seems to me there's been this shift toward becoming besties. Where you know I'm BFFs with my right. kid. Right. Uh, why? Why is there that move? Well, I think in a lot of families, there's a lot more in common. Kids are watching the same shows as their parents, listening to the same music. So there's a lot more playing field evening in that sense but as a result there's this really fine line being crossed so it's good to be friends with your kids but the best friend being involved in everything it's a little bit um, dangerous water it's tempting though because parents feel like if I am their best friend they'll come to me they'll tell me things right. I'll know what's going on I can help absolutely but it does also you are never at the same level as your kid you, as a parent you are always at, there's a power differential I don't ask my friends to go buy me that dress from the store I ask my friends to talk to me about the problems I'm having in my life I don't ask my friends to, you know, tell me what to do all the time as I might ask my mom. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference. There's a boundary issue there. And once that's crossed, it's really hard to go back. It is possible to do both, to be a disciplinarian, to be a friend to your child. Mm -hmm. How do you know, though, if you are crossing that line from parent to friend? It's a really, really tough thing. And you want to really take a step back and ask yourself, why am I wanting to be my child's friend? And there's a couple things. Why do I want this friendship? And we want to think, do I need something from my child? Do I want something from them? Do I, you know, is it giving me more than it's giving them. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. We also want to know, like, do my kids ask me for guidance? Meaning, are they going to tell me that, am I, am I offering them guidance in school, like how to handle the situation, or am I just going in and solving it? Mm -hmm. And that's important. And the last thing, we want to think about, well, what's your own relationship like with your parents? If your dad was sitting down with you and watching the baseball game and offering you a beer at 15, you may want to repeat that but it may not be the best option for your kids. It teaches them the wrong thing. Also, does it really give you better access, I guess, to your child to be this close as, as a friend with them? The belief would be yes. And I think that although you may be getting all this information, you may not want all that information. Mm -hmm. you, it may be too much information because then you're going to not be sure what to do. So I think it's important to set the tone for open and honest communication and do fun things together but not necessarily ask for everything. And there are certain things you can do to really foster that part of your relationship. Right, and we talk about this all the time. One of the things you want to think about is where is there a safe space for you to talk to your kids? Where's a place you can have that together? What do you, like, or can you watch shows with them? And then talk about it, always important. And lastly, you want to know who they're hanging out with, know their friends, know their friends, parents, know what's going on around them. And the beauty of this is if you can strike that balance, which is a daily, a daily it's struggle. A daily struggle. Can, it could really set you up for a great relationship down the road as you both get older. Absolutely, that's the key. Jen, always good to have you with us. Thanks, Thanks. so much, Erica.